in September 2024, Chasuri successfully completed the delivery of seven new 8x8 ammo wear amphibious vehicles, a wave to the Royal Thai Marine Corps of the Royal Thai Navy, concluding a procurement process that began in August 2023. This delivery is a key milestone in Thailand's efforts to modernize its amphibious warfare capabilities, enhancing the operational readiness of its marine forces. The total budget for this procurement was 448 million baht, approximately $12.9 billion, covering the development, construction, testing, and delivery of these advanced vehicles. The Thai A-Wave 8x8 amphibious vehicle is a modern, multi-purpose platform engineered for optimal performance on both land and water. The vehicle is 9.2 meters long, 3.1 meters wide, and 3 meters tall, with a weight of 23.2 tons. It is powered by a robust 711 horsepower diesel engine enabling it to achieve speeds of up to 105 km on land and 10 km per hour in water. The A-Wave boasts a combat range of 600 km, making it ideal for sustained operations. With space for 11 fully equipped personnel, in addition to a crew of three, including driver, gunner, and commander, the A-Wave is designed for marine assaults and troop transport in various environments. It is equipped with a state-of-the-art Guardian 1.5 remote weapon station from Spain's Escribano Mechanical and Engineering. This remote weapon station is armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and a 76mm smoke rally launcher providing strong firepower for both offensive and defensive operations. The seven delivery A-Webs were based on a prototype but incorporated several modifications to suit the specific needs of marine operations. These adjustments include a redesigned front section to prevent mud and sand from reaching the vehicle's rear during beach landings, an essential feature for operations in coastal environments. The driver station also features large-caliber ballistic glass for improved visibility on both land and marine scenarios, further enhancing operational safety. The A-Wave 8x8 were complemented the AAV-7A1 amphibious vehicles already in service with the Royal Thai Marine Corps. The existing AAV-7A1 fleet is also undergoing modernization, ensuring that the Royal Thai Marine Corps maintains a diverse and capable amphibious assault force. Before the delivery, HAWF underwent extensive testing to ensure readiness for demanding conditions of amphibious warfare. Testing included 200 km of continuous road driving, 2 hours of uninterrupted marine operation, and rigorous obstacle courses that simulated various battlefield conditions. Despite its size and weight, the A-Wave demonstrated impressive mobility being able to climb slopes of up to 60 degrees, surpassing the performance standards set by the Marine Corps. The AEWEB's amphibious capabilities are powered by a water jet propulsion system developed by Chasuri Engineering Team. This system allows the vehicle to transition smoothly between land and marine environments without the need for manual mode changes, making it highly efficient in dynamic battlefield scenarios. Furthermore, the vehicle's turret system, controlled remotely from inside, 
exhibited remarkable accuracy of 90% of shots hitting the target during testing. The AWF is expected to operate in conjunction with Thailand's Royal Navy landing platform docks, including the HTMS Angtong and HTMS Chang. This integration will enable the vehicles to be rapidly deployed in amphibious ashore operations alongside other amphibious ashore vehicles, such as the VN-16. The AWEB's deployment from these naval platforms allows the Marine Corps to project power effectively across both land and sea, bolstering their ability to conduct complex amphibious assurance and operations. The AWEB represents Treasury's latest achievement in ammo vehicle manufacturing, marking a significant step forward in the Thai defense industry's ability to produce high-performance amphibious vehicles. Its design and construction were completed within a year of the procurement contract being signed, reflecting Treasury's efficiency and capability in meeting the needs of the Royal Thai Marine Corps. With capabilities comparable to the widely respected AAVP-7A1 amphibious transport vehicle, the AWF positioned itself as a strong contender for future procurement programs, both within Thailand and potentially with other nations seeking advanced amphibious vehicles. Treasury's track record with the AWF could open doors for export to countries with coastal and island-based defense requirements, as amphibious warfare becomes increasingly important in regional and global military strategies.